Hi there, welcome back to the 25th video Learn Excel with Karpakan. In this video, I am going to show you how to do a basic VLOOKUP and then gradually we move to how to do a data validation with the VLOOKUP, how to assign students grade using a VLOOKUP and how to calculate sales commission using VLOOKUP. Let's get started. Those who are not heard of VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP is one of the most prominent tool used in Excel. VLOOKUP stands for a vertical lookup. When I say vertical lookup, when you supply the argument, it goes and looks for the data from each and every one of the vertical, subject 1, subject 2, subject 3, whatever you specify, it goes and finds out. What exactly I'm going to do here is, I have the name of the candidate and I want to find the average of these candidates specifically. Let me go and use the VLOOKUP formula. When you type V, it's going to supply you all the formulas that's available, L, press tab, where is the lookup value? Do Joel is the lookup value, comma. Where is the table array? My table array starts from C7 to L24. Why I haven't included the serial number? Because when you talk about VLOOKUP, it always looks for the leftmost value. So in this case, leftmost value is the name of the candidate. Come on. What is the column index number? Please do not calculate the column index number starting from A till L. Please always start or start numbering your columns and accordingly use it. In this case scenario within the table, for me the column index number is 10. Come on. Is it that I want to supply a true match or an exact match when it comes to a range lookup? I want to do an exact match. When I say do Joel, I want the details of only do Joel. So we always supply 0 for a false match and 1 for a true match. Let me close it, hit enter. You can see Do Joel marks is 73. Again, when I just drag it down, you will be able to see every other's mark. Say for example, where is Abhishek Kumar? You can see Abhishek Kumar mark is 70, 69.625. Again, when we talk about Peter Santi, you can see 65.125, 65. So this is how a basic VLOOKUP works in. Once you supply the formula, it goes and fetches you the exact value. Next one, I'm going to show you how to do a data validation with a VLOOKUP. In this case scenario, every time I just type the data, but in this case scenario, I don't want to type the data, I just want to fetch it. So what I'm going to do, this is the cell where I want to validate it. Go to data, click on data validation, again click on data validation. It prompts you to a data validation dialog box and in the validation criteria, choose list. You are instructing Excel to list this value and where is your source? My source is here, starting from D7 to D17 and hit OK. Now that you can see a drop down list box is added up with all the names here. This is how we validate our data. When you click on this, you will be able to see all the names are listed here. So we have used a drop down list box. I'm going to back to average. As of now, I'm in need of averages to be calculated. Let me go and choose a name, Preeti Sujai. And I'm going to use a VLOOKUP formula tab. Where is the VLOOKUP value? Preeti Sujai, comma. Where is the table array? Starts from Do Joel till average comma what is the column index number 10 because we are excluding serial number 10 comma is it that approximate match or a true match we are saying we want a false match when we talk about a range lookup i'm going to use a false match because i want the exact data zero close the bracket hit enter so when you look at this preeti sujai preeti sujai 60.625 it just turned it off to the next number again let me go and choose a different name John, you can see when it comes to a John 61 percentage. Again, when we, let me go and click on Peter Sandy 65.125. You can see 65 marks. Using a data validation, you can fetch in all the details that is available within your data set because you have restricted the data. And nobody can enter a new data when you use a data validation other than you. Let's move on to the next one. Assigning students grade using VLOOKUP is going to be really interesting for one simple reason. Here we are going to use a absolute reference. Those who want to know more about cell references, please find it in the link below. Let's get started. I'm going to use a VLOOKUP formula. Tab. What is the lookup value? Average. Comma. Where is your table array? The table array is here because 88 can be found only in this particular table. Comma. What is the column index number? Grade is in second column, comma. Do I want to supply a true match or a false match? In this case scenario, I'm saying go and look for an approximate match. So I'm typing one, close the bracket, hit enter. You can see B plus. And here you can see all our relative references. And I just pull it down. 
you can see it's going to supply me na error you may be wondering why we are getting not available error because it's of one simple reason it goes and looks or uses a relative references here every time when i push it down say for example when i click on this formula you can see it used between 07 to p16 this is the actual score let's say when i click on this you can see 07 and when i click on this you can see p16 07 to p16 is the range in this case scenario you can see it has taken 08 to p17 it went down okay when i click on this you can see 09 to p18 019 to p18 it has taken when i click on this one you can see 011 to p20 it just push it down each and every time let me show you why it is not with a when i go and select on o12 to p21 you can see 92 it it is within this particular range it's between 90 to 95 so already it has taken the data again when we go and look for this particular b category you can see o13 to p22 o13 is this particular column o13 to p22 and I just push it down you will be able to see so in this case scenario when you happen to see what happens 82 is in between 80 and 85 so it supplied the data again when we move on to the next one na you can see o14 to p23 it starts looking from this but whereas this 68 is in between this particular range that's the reason it supplies na error how exactly we are going to get rid of this particular data I show you how what I'm going to do is I'm going back to the formula and I'm going to lock this particular range. When I say locking, I'm going to use absolute cell reference. Go and press F4. When you press F4 for the very first time, it's an absolute reference. What is a absolute references? It will go and lock this entire range and will look for the data only from this particular range. Let me click enter now you can see yes because we have locked this particular range okay let me go to this f column when you look into it you can see this is the range that it is looking for again let me go back to 94 when i click on this you can see this is the range that it is looking for because we have locked this particular range I hope you have understood this video. Let's move on to the last one. It is also similar to our student screen. In this case scenario, what happens is I have a sales representative and I have got the sales commission percentage and I want to calculate the commission of this. And we have got the sales range and the commission percentage. Our, this is what our table array and the column index number is. This is going to be the column index number. In order to arrive to the commission rate, we look up. Look up value is this one, comma. What is the table array? This is the table array, comma, column index number, Co commission percentage is the column index number, comma. What is the range lookup? I'm using an approximate match. So I'm supplying one, close the bracket, and let me go and lock it from the beginning. Function F4, first time when you press it, it's an absolute reference. Let's hit enter. Now you can see we have got the commission percentage. And let me go and calculate the commission. So F7 into G7 sales into commission percentage. We have got the commission which they are yet to receive for the sales they have made it. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more such videos. See you soon.